So let me open this up. Um, I was thinking this was a little bit bigger. Um, here's a just a kind of big candle just to give you perspective. But I thought this was a little bit bigger. So I'm kind of feeling like, is it as big as I wanted it to be? I wanted it to be, it's supposed to be 11 by, it's supposed to be 11 by like 19. Let's see if it says anything on here. It does not, but this is like a professional makeup artist case. And I'm gonna open it up. Hold on, let me get the angles. So I'm gonna open this up. If I sound crazy on this video because I don't feel good, then I don't know. But I wanted to open it up. And um, so this is like a makeup train case. So I should be able to throw this over to the left, to the right, in the middle. So right now I just have this kind of like big, I put some mousse in it. And it's just giving big and wavy, but I don't know how I feel about it. So this is day one. It's cute, but it feels real retro. So I'm gonna try to flat iron it and then do like a little comb over bang tomorrow or whenever I feel better. And all that good stuff. So <clears throat> let me Oh, my nails came out real cute. I think they came out cute again. I was on a roll with my sets being super cute. And then that came to an end. So I'm glad that it's back. Um, and I got a cute set again this time. So it's like this. To me, it needs to be a little bit bigger. So I may actually take this back. But let's see how it looks on the inside. It's supposed to have like a space for your um, eyeshadows, which I guess is this top part here where you could clip some stuff in. This ain't really giving nothing on the inside right here. I can't do too much with this. It's got like a little Velcro strap like that. I don't know what that's for. Hmm. That's like a waste of space. This is supposed to be, I guess, where you could put your, put some stuff in here. Let's see the other part. Then there's another zipper part. It does have a strap with it. Okay, this is the main compartment, I guess. And the um, compartments are supposed to be adjustable. I just thought it was bigger than this. I guess it's that big. In here, you put your brushes. You got a little zip here where you can stick some palettes in here i'm guessing but this is it and again i'm disappointed with the size but i what i want to use this for is just indoors like going from um when i move i know that i'm gonna wear this heck by makeup have it with me where i could get dressed upstairs i get dressed downstairs in my master bathroom or upstairs in my beauty area my um you know like just my closet my beauty area up there and then I could transport it but always have my stuff together so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna put some stuff in here and just see what I think but this part on this side just feels like it's useless I mean I don't know what I would use on that side I guess I could put some palettes over here one or a couple I don't know but really I may slice the palette together, I guess, but this is it. I just thought it was cute, it's black, that I could just transport my makeup back and forth inside the house because I like to do it in different places within the house, like I said, but I wanna have all my makeup and stuff together where I could just pull this out because I don't, I tend to not sit at my vanity anymore. I know my voice is so annoyed, so I will go ahead and just show y'all how I put the stuff in here. So again, this is how it looks. It's like this flap. And you open it. And this is where you would put your stuff. So you can take these slots out or these little divider separator to make 
just to make it bigger or smaller depending on what you want to put in here so if you wanted to do like eyebrow pencils you could like make a really skinny one and then um just put all your pencils or something in there <clears throat> but i got this off of amazon i'll link it below it is available in black uh white pink um i think i saw blue and it also comes like this is supposedly the extra large size and then it's supposed to be like a small a medium size and all of that but i thought it was a little bit bigger but anyways this is how it is you could definitely probably put skincare in there but i'm gonna just do my um makeup because that's what i wanted to do so i would try to do like my setting sprays and stuff my powders and I'm just trying to get a feel for it. So if I did this, that I would need to like expand these out and make it a little bit wider. But I want to maximize my space. So let's see. I'm just trying to get a feel for it. I may do like all my little setting powders or something in one. Mm, I gotta get my stuff together and see. But I don't want it to get all messed up. I guess I don't know. So then as far as like eyeshadow, you put your brushes up top. I like this little thing here. I guess you would put your eyeshadows in there. I just know that this could get real dirty real quick. So it's cute though. I am feeling it because it's giving very much like makeup artists and um, like I'm getting my makeup done when I'm um, I'm getting my make I'm having my makeup done professionally. So I love that and pretty girls on the beats. <clears throat> pretty girls on the beat. So that's cute, right? Look how it's coming along. Super cute. Got plenty of space. This is cute, actually. I do like it. I just, I'm not real fond of the size of the whole thing. So, let's see. I'm gonna need to clean these brushes. Like, I don't even use the fan brush because I don't really put a lot of highlighter or glitter on anymore. But I'll still put it in there. Just for the aesthetic. I'll put all of these, um, Smaller brushes in here are a professional makeup artist. This is a great little kit. I would take two of them as far as like makeup. You can have like two kits. And this was $33. Yeah, so not bad at all. But I'm um, trying to put my makeup in here. I got my, uh, I may end up doing all powders in here. It's looking like. And they come in here with like my concealer, it's just for a quick little removal. I wonder if it could stand up. Uh, I guess it could. That might be cute. This is not all my foundations, but I'm just concerned about it getting dirty on the inside because with this dark color foundations and stuff, I can see this getting kind of ugly real quick. Those are my three every day. Foundation. It's like my everyday makeup. And then I could do one with concealers. I'm going to do my lip products back here. So this is cute. I like this. Hold on. <clears throat> my pencils probably could go a little bit skinnier. Lip pencils. But I'm going to just stick them in there like that. I need to take all these things out the boxes. This is cute, you girls. I'm loving this, actually. Uh, for $33, it just feels very professional. It's giving makeup artists. It's giving every day, like, I'm that girl. She's that girl putting her beat on. And um, I just like that it's all organized. And if I want to do my makeup here, I'll just, you know, pull this out. I need to reorganize it, I know. But I just need to, I'm just going to put some things here for now. I put my matte products there. Um, my Mario Buddha sealers are gonna go in here. Cute. And then I got all my MAC lip lips sticks. I'm gonna put them in here. That's cute. My eyebrow pencils. I got it. 
I'll put those in with the eyebrow stuff, which was here. I like the eyebrow section. It's not giving. But anyways, I'm going to reorganize it for sure. Another MAC lippy. Stick that in there. What is this? Oh, the Fenty Beauty Lip Balm. Gloss Balm. Put that in here. And so that cleared that out. I'm going to throw some of these boxes away because it's time. It's time! But so far, this is where we're at. I think this is going to be perfect because I can still close this down. And I will be able to zip it up. So that's cute. This is real nice. And I have um, had cases, makeup cases, train cases, and all that before. So this is gonna be real cute and functional. I actually have been loving the Charlotte Tilbury or Tilbury um, setting spray, the Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray too. So that is really could be it. So I will put um, the other one in here too, because this one, I put a dent in it, but it's still, you know, quite a bit in there, but I'll go ahead and just put other one in here and stop holding on to the box <laughs> so i got two of those okay that was so fun to do i just put in my uh one size um setting powders there i got all my powders here i put in my morphe uh continuous prep and set sprays i got the two charlotte Silvers in here i added another concealer some uh, more of these little eyebrow pencils that I don't use that often, but I have a bunch of them. More lip glosses. And then we'll put some more of these little um, triangle sponges back here. I wanted to limit it to just stuff that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. That way it's not too heavy, it's not too full. And then, you know, as I buy stuff too, I'll be able to add to it versus it already being stuck. So this actually is not a bad size and I'm very happy that I got this. I think if it was any bigger, it would be too big and too cumbersome to like, you know, tote around even though it's just indoor. Um, I would not take this like if I was traveling, um, except if it was like a local trip where it could go in a car or something, but like on an airplane. No, I'll just put it back in those little travel size bags, these here. So that's pretty much all of the skincare I got that my son got for Christmas. I got him the ordinary. Um, I thought this was a nice little intro set. He had been wanting something. He's 13 just to have some skincare. Um, this is a <clears throat> glycoside foaming cleanser. These are what is this? Salicylic acid. Um, and then this I believe is the moisturizer. Uh, yeah, this is the moisturizer. This is this cologne that he got for Christmas, which is Stronger With You by um, Armani. And it actually smells really good. And then these are the drying patches that he's been using for, like, you know, blemishes on the go. Put my Fenty Beauty in here also because it just made the most sense to have it here with the foundation since it's technically a foundation, even though I'm using it as a, um contour but this is my setup so far dolls and i absolutely am obsessed like are you kidding me it looks like a professional makeup artist train case and like i'm just you know when i use it up get my makeup professionally done each time now my voice sounds a mess so, yes dolls i need to take some more medicine and just chill out lay down um so that's what I'm going to do, and um, I'll chat with you dolls a little bit later, <clears throat> hoping to feel better. And my sons were sick first, then my husband, and now me, so yeah. So I'm just going to lay down and take it easy the rest of the evening, and I'll chat with you dolls um, probably tomorrow.
We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. I wonder what it is. See what we working with. What if I drop this box one more time? Get in here. I surely don't want to be in the shot. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I know y'all would gag. Y'all saw how I'm looking right now. So these are the um I'm excited. These are the A6. And they were not bad as far as the price. I've been wanting these for a while. So I got them from StockX. And they weren't bad. They were like $135. Look, $95 retail. I think I got them for like one. Let me see, 108 or so. I got the eight and a half men's and a US women's 10. So I didn't know if they ran big or small. Some people said true to size, so I got true to size. And this is what they look like. Ooh, cute. Okay. Cute. I'm planning to wear these with my trench coats, like my khaki trench coat. And it's got that silver accent. I think these are cute. I hope they fit. Super cute. So I thought these would be cute for New York, like walking around. Um, trench coats, khaki coats. Just a little cute. It's got a little touch of brown on there, a brown air bubble. I didn't know I had an air bubble. Okay. And um, yeah, these are cute. So let me see if they fit, girl. <laughs> These are cute. These are cuter than I thought. These are cuter than I thought. So I'm happy about that. And I have been wanting these. So uh, they look kind of small though. Can your girl fit? Oof. Oof. Oh no, they, they right. This is the right size. Ow. Yes. So like this Zara trench with these. And like just a bodysuit or whatever time so I'm planning to style them up. I think they're so stinky cute. And they feel comfortable. Like I could wear it with a sock if I wanted to a light sock. <coughs> uh, so I have my teddy heels or my tippies. Oh, don't shake up by that one. The size it was good. These are cute. It's got a little match. You can see the toes through it so they're thin and light. I think they're gonna be real comfortable and cute. And I'm so glad I got these. Oh my God, super cute with that silver accent. Very aesthetic and just, I love these. I got my jacket that I want to style it with. Um, my little trenches, the teddy. I picked up a lot of little fire pieces, just gray, but not with that, but you know, just some things that's cute. That'll look cute with a little pop of silver. The bangles. That's gonna be cute. Hella cute. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I think I'm pulling my silver Chanel with this. Is that doing too much? Or should I do something? I don't know. I got a silver purse I'm gonna be pulling this with. But yes, girls. That's the vibe. Okay, I ordered a new stylus pen because my other one from my iPad attach it and charge it like um, with a plug. So that's why I got this one. And my voice is going out again, girl. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and tap out. Tap, tap, tap out. Yeah, so this one's got an actual charger with it. The other one that I had before was just where it just charged only off the side of the by magnetic. And it didn't seem to work, so um, this one, oops, that looked kind of funny. This one, you know, I can actually plug it in and charge it, so I'm excited about that. So I get back to journaling and my goals, and um, I'm going to try to pair this with my iPad and see what it did. End of the year, 2023 planner. So I had some stuff on here for Halloween that I just deleted a lot. I don't think it'll let me go back. Oh, there it goes. So I had some stuff on here for Halloween that I just deleted off. And, you know, going into Christmas, if I zoom in here, for like September, um, October, 
and all of that. So I just need to update this and get all the Christmas stuff off, revisit my goals, see what's changed, what's still on here, what needs to be pulled forward, what needs to be deleted. So that's kind of how I do my vision board. And this is an app called, let's see if I can go back. This is called Venom, Zen, Zenia, Zenia, I don't know, Zenna. So that's that. And then I just have this untitled. I didn't buy it, but I just used this. And then I have a goal a month, just some templates from um, Pinterest. Daily five-minute journal, vision board here, which is the main one that I use. And, um, oops. And then this one is kind of one I'm working on, which is kind of a quadrant style. And then a daily five-minute journal. So what I do is I usually will just zoom these to make them bigger. And then you see how that filled up the whole iPad. And then from there, I can um, edit or add, you know, using my pen, which I love um, to be able to use my pen. So that kind of slowed me down not having my pen. But this is more of a stylus pen. So instead of using your finger, you use this. Um, this one, I think, was supposed to mimic an Apple pen, but I don't know. It worked for a while, but then it didn't. But I also like this one because when I go to, like, my book, books, okay, cool, because I'm like, uh, I'm reading, these are the books that I'm reading here. This was my Christmas read, Ginger Snap to Death, um, sample, but I didn't end up picking those. I picked a series, and I've gone with it, Undercover in High Heels, which is a really cute little series. There we go. Okay, so a little stuff like that. But um, anyway, so back to the planning. So I zoom it in like this, and then that way, I mean, for me, most of my personal goals and all goals are going to carry over. I just need to update things like this, the year. Let's see. Um, so I have all my stuff there. And then down here, I would just come in and delete, you know, stuff off of here like that. And then I freed it up. I could put some, you know, more seasonal type stuff in there. Or I could add some additional um, planning things. So I'm going to delete all of this um, fall stuff out. Christmas is out. Lattes, yeah. And then here I would need to update, like, my dates and stuff. So, um we will make that, like, just for an example. We'll just make it the month of... I'm going to just do the full... Well, it's a daily five-minute journal, so I usually will do that for the week. So this will be the 6th. Change that to the 24th. And then this I've been using... I was using, like, for the weekend. <clears throat> so that's why I had Saturday and Sunday. And then I would just put, you know, all of these in here, update it, and that sort of thing. And then when you shrink it back down, oops, pop out of that. Looks like I kind of, let's see, ooh, 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 ooh. here, I need to do delete there. But anyway, so then when you snap out of that, you see it condenses all the way back down. And this is just kind of like a big vision board. And then I'm just zooming in and out on um, things. So I need to update like word of the year, which last year was relax. Um, I think this year it may be push. Like to try to get things accomplished. I just need to push. That's going to be my word, I think. Um... Like, just a move. So, that's what it is. I kind of wanted to save it from last year, but I guess I could have did a screenshot. Let's do that. Just so I can have my goals from last year. And then when I come back and look at it again. Let me do a screenshot. Yeah. Have that as a reference and a come back to point, but I can add in a new page here, um, all of that. And this one, I was trying to get good notes, which not trying to, I could have, but I didn't want to pay for it. So even um, Josh, he has some little goals here, which is his business, but uh, 
He brought his little goals in there too. So that one is his little template. That one is mine. But they have like, you know, where you can do ready to use. And this one, um, you could buy some stuff if you wanted to buy like stuff for New Year's. Um, they have little tutorials on how to use it. So it's just really, um, they have tutorials on lettering. Just different little things that you could do in here, which is what caught my attention because I'm like, well, that's helpful. Um, and here I am still using my finger, but I have to charge this up, I believe, because it keeps going in and on and off to add it to. So I will put that as a new page. You could do dot grid, grid, uh, lined. Choose your orientation, landscape portrait, single. Or if you wanted it to spread like two sheets, however you wanted it, uh, which I think is really cool. I'm gonna do landscape. That works best for me. And then I'm gonna do single and create the new page. So here it comes and so bam. If you wanted to do like a daily planner, you could. And if my pen would cooperate, I need to just charge this up. And then you could come in here and you could just literally write or whatever. But for me, I prefer because I'm not a fan of my handwriting. I'll usually just come in and do text boxes. I'm wearing a commodity milk and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. I have to get this. I'm ordering it today. Because I keep, you know, doing stuff. And I'm just like, oh my God, it smells good. It's something different. Which I like to have pick up something different, um, you know, every now and then. Okay, so this is just photos. If you want to add a photo, do some screenshots for like Pinterest. Screenshot, like I got these for Pinterest. It's just journal prompts. So I could add that in. Um, and then these are the, these are the pictures that I use for like my actual, that vision board and everything. I just did screenshots for Pinterest for those. I had a gratitude one, I think. So let's just click that just to see it. So I added it in, gold digger. I can make that, you know, over here instead of the to-do or I can add it in smaller. It's just whatever you make it. And... So that's what I like about this. And I was like, I have to share this because it's so easy. Now you could do this, of course, with your iPad. You could do this with um, a tablet. You could do this on your phone. You could do this just about anywhere. And like I said, you just move your stuff, make it bigger or smaller to see it. Um, usually you go big to write it in. Um, so you have space to record it and then you just shrink it down and just you know enlarge it. Need be little stuff like that but you know this was just as example like if you had something here you wanted to put in like a goal or videos that you wanted to record or whatever your goals are you know since i do youtube i could have put in here like my schedule record and just had this um how did it do feedback what i wanted to happen with it all that kind of stuff and then you just kind of go from there and you could do a sheet per day. You could do one for the full week. You could do one for the full month. For me, it works better if I have a month and then I um, just keep working off of that and add to it, delete, modify, like what I was doing over here. Um, but this one was a year one. I did this one and I could delete that. I don't know. I'm just saying you could write on there. Otherwise, for me, I'd rather do a text box and just type in like 2024 in a real cute font that's aesthetic. Whoops. And then for that thing, girl, that's a no. So for here, we'll just come in here and bam. Bada boom, bada bing. Delete all the little stray marks. Clean her up, and she's good to go. I still have to get some of this Halloween stuff out of here. So for October, I said, back in church, get an offer on our house, finish reading two books, lose 15 pounds. So that's definitely rolling over, because, oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. So we're not even talking about that, but that's definitely something I want to 
Continue to work towards, continue to achieve. Begin working out again this week, beach body videos. So I'm gonna do all of that. Only two coffees a week, which I think I'm gonna just cut them out um, completely, to be honest, because it's just like, it's really not doing much for me. December, Christmas in our new home. Be at my goal weight, going into the new year. Jesus, help, 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 help. Start the year off at 157, girl. So, anyways, that's how the goals go. So, you just gonna revise that. You know, whatever needs to continue posting weekly or bi weekly on YouTube. Get to 4,000 watch hours by 2024, which I'm close. And then look at that, I have push. You can do it. So, that's why I was like, that would be a great word um, for the new year is to push. Keep pushing or just push. So, I'm going to put in all caps. Oops. Push. Okay. Oops. All right. So, then we zoom this in. This is the full iPad here. And then under here, I have vision board, health, wealth, career. I need to update all of this. YouTube videos. Yes, I'm coming for that 100K in 2024. Set up booking, schedule time off, February, London, Paris, or NYC. So we're planning to go to NYC. I took the time off. I did take the time off. I did. Uh, I just need to set up the booking, actually. Let's delete it. I did schedule the time off. Now I need to set up the booking. And then we chose NYC for February for my birthday. So that's one that's going to come to pass. And then we will remove it and add a new one in. Like, what's the next one? What's next? Health, daily walks, workout daily, strength train, meditate 10 minutes. I need to do that again. I need to do that. I mean, these are things that are tangible. It's just a matter of activating, putting them in motion so that they come to pass. Working out daily, strip training, those were things that I was doing. So it wasn't even anything that's like, oh, you can't do that. You really can. I have done it before. I just need to um, keep it up. Um, wealth, I want to start back doing my cash stuffing. Having a savings account. When I get my bonus, like putting that straight in there. Is this focused? So yeah, so that's the vision board piece. And I'll update those. Now my vision board that I have as far as like, I mean, these are kind of the same thing. This is a little more broken out. And then this one is kind of a more of just a big picture. So this one, I could change it sideways and it will fill up the page. Kind of like some of the things are redundant, but not really. Because I say lose 20 pounds, but how? Uh, back at the gym, I'm going to do heavy weights. I'm going to treadmill walk, walk outside daily, half portions, 30 days, move my body challenge, which is a personal one, and Bible study. I need to add some notes in there. My professional, I want a new work from home job. Where I'm 100% remote, I have higher pay, it's easier, it's stress-free. I said the job starts in 2023, that hasn't or didn't happen, so I'll need to change that to 2024. But I'm going to be more specific as far as like, um, you know, January 2023 or something like that. Uh, but I need to apply for jobs because it's like, okay, you know, how? Financial, start back savings again and cash stuffing, which we talked about. Dream big. I still want my G-Wagon. I said I, it's still at move in on 2023, but we haven't moved in yet. We haven't closed yet. So when I do close, <laughs> I will be going for that G-Wagon. So I need to change that to 2024 because that's when we are now scheduled to move. So around that time, I said I wanted to look at a website. Look at the website because you got to see the inventory then. I can't have looked a month ago or two months ago and then... You know, I'm not going to, I need to just look when it's time to go, like when it's go time, so I know what they have. 
I do want a rental property at my old college where I went to college at, the college city that I was in. So I want to explore that more in 2024. I want to look at the struck off list, visit Nacogdoches again just to see, is it still a vibe? Do I still feel that way? I know I have a connection to that city, but why? You know, and if I go back there, will I still feel the same? So I need to make a trip there. Um, and then YouTube 100K, which we talked about, but how? Post weekly. And probably need to change that to bi-weekly, which I'll update. Edit and upload shorts. Um, shorts does bring me new followers. So that was a good thing. And I stopped doing shorts and focused on my long form content. But I need to make a balance, like a schedule to be able to post both. Like sub day shorts, but also like in between the days that I'm giving y'all long form content, I should still also be posting shorts. Um, edit and upload shorts via computer and not phone. So that's supposed to be the better quality is when you do it um, on the computer and not via phone because you lose the 4K quality. And since I'm, I also need to film my shorts using my camera and not my phone. So all those things I'm going to update. And um, let's see. And then a goal a month, I would need to start here. Jay, what do I want to achieve in January, February, March, April, and go from there. But what I like to do, guys, is also I'll go over to Pinterest. And on here, this is just some stuff I was looking at. Girl, how do we get out of here? I'm looking up looks for New York trip. Um, for my birthday, I know I'm being draped in fur when I go to New York and when I go to Paris. So I was just looking up looks, poses, just not to duplicate, but just so I kind of know when I get there and I touch down how I want to be styled. And it's not this, it's just like this kind of sparks the thought process like, okay, how am I posing? What am I wearing? What's my background? You know, it kind of gets those type of creative juices flowing for me. And I really like this. I have this jacket. And um, it just kind of makes me kind of get going as far as like when I'm packing. What am I packing to go? But I know that I want to, you know, definitely be in full length fur. Uh, my vintage furs. And I just want a really pretty backdrop of the city. That's been my goal and what I want to do. So regardless of how I'm... Smiling, not smiling. Whatever I feel in the moment is how that'll go. But I do just want some more action photos where I'm capturing the background. I'm capturing the city. And um, just living my best life while I'm there, of course. On vacay. It just kind of has some things already in mind. That way I don't have to spend a lot of time like, what do I do? It's like, no, I get the camera out. My tripod is set up. The street is empty. And I just go because I've already pictured in my mind how I want to look, what my vibe is, what the energy is that I'm tapping into. So as I'm in the city and I see that, then I can just put my camera out and do that. So if I'm on a train, it's empty. <clears throat> then I can just set my camera up and naturally just cop the vibes, record the vibes, capture the vibes. And I am thinking about getting some sambas, which is new for me. Um, I'm thinking about ordering the Sambas, but anyways, I digress. But I'm just looking at this. I'm like, yeah, that's cute because it's going to be cold there. It's 37 degrees this week and I'm going in February. So I'm like, yeah, I kind of need to know what I'm ordering, what I need to order. So I have time. I know I don't want a big chunky sweatsuit like that under my fur. I want my, my fur to stand out and to pop. So I don't want it to be real messy where the fur and the outfit is baggy and loose and all of that. So I'm not, you know, things like that I look at too. Like with, I want it to be very polished. So um, anyways, I digress. I digress. I digress. Let me get you guys where we're going. So let's see. Okay. Why don't I just go to the home button? This is what I have for birthday looks. Um... That was for 2023. This is for Paris. Um, this is what I pulled for my birthday for 2024 as far as ideas go. I know that I want to just travel with my weekender bag, but my smaller one. Um, I want to have some photos on my bag because I just do. I wanted to get my initials embossed on my bag before I go. 
but we'll see. If I don't, then I'm not going to press it. Um, <clears throat> I think it's going to be too cold, but I wanted to do some really big blazers with boots and tights, like where I could be layered underneath, like with my skims, but layered, and just kind of hop in and out of an Uber and let it take me from, you know, hotel to the restaurant or something cute. Um, but I don't know. It may be too cold for that, but we'll see. I also have some little looks like this. And it's not this outfit, of course, but just like long dress, high boot, um, jacket. This would be more for my actual birthday here in Houston because it'll be a little bit warmer because I will be in New York partially. But then I'll be back on my actual birthday because I like to celebrate with my kids, be at home and that sort of thing. Um, hair is definitely bust down, middle part. I uh, think I'll do a 26, 28 inches because it's my birthday. Because I'm usually at a 22, which is about what she's rocking, middle part. But I'm going to go a little bit longer for my birthday. I'm definitely ordering me a cake like this. Um, that girl says 96, I think would be cute. And I saw that they could do this at Randall's because I got my son one made for his birthday. A round one with the little design. And they did have some heart-shaped cakes. So I was like, mental note. Come back to Randall's. The cake was so good. And I think that'll be cute for photos and just for me because I've been wanting a cake like that. Um, so this was just some of the different designs. It's called That one says the baddest. But, you know, I'm going to be celebrating with my family and stuff. So I just thought something or just um, 46 on there or um, established in 1998. I don't know, just something. So that was cute. And I want to take a picture of my cake like this. Um, nails definitely done. Birthday nails. And then with my hair super pinned straight, I wanted to have like just really soft glam. Um, earrings kind of big. Very um, statement earrings. And then I want to wear like smaller Sunglasses while I'm in NYC for my birthday. So I have that. I have some gloves. She's wearing gloves. So I do want to um, give me some nice gloves to wear. And what else did I have in here? I think I had two different ones. What else do I have? I had a fashion week because it will be fashion week while I'm there. So I just kind of pulled some pics of pictures I wanted to take just out to dinner. Champagne. I kind of want a Lady Dior back for my birthday low-key, so I'm thinking about that. But anyways, I took that because I was like, oh, if I get a Lady Dior, my first one, and I definitely want to take it, get a picture of me with it. Um, and then I like her beautiful skin, high cheekbones, and the ponytail is real cute. But I might throw a pony on for this week, so just so I can go ahead and manifest that look but just a fun looks like this but this would be more for september fashion week when it's warmer february fashion week i feel like it's gonna be harder to catch looks and stuff because of the cold not that i couldn't but i just don't want to be out there freezing worried about the temperature versus having a good time because it's my birthday so you guys can see i have my palm beach um 2023 board here and i love creating boards so if you want to Follow me on Pinterest. I mean, I don't know if that's even still a thing, but I do capture a lot of stuff on here. All my boards will be here for you to see. Outfit ideas, birthday looks, Paris, workouts. Um, oh, my A6, because I did just get the A6. So I had made just a little board, which I didn't finish. I don't know why this is in here. This, these two need to go. But um, just some looks like what I would wear on my A6. Um, just, you know little sweatsuits or whatever, because I do. I'm always at my kids' practices, their games, so I thought just some little cute, these would be cute for that, perhaps. But look at this, super cute for the plane. Um, I'll try to catch a, a vibe if I wear them with me and my sweats, my ASICs, my headphones, and all of that. Or while we're in the car in NYC, then I may just look down like, hey, and snap a photo. And then um, this was just some ideas. This, I guess, would be more summer. But Lululemon um, or what's the other one? Alto. Alto type vibes. But I really like the way my shoes came together. They are giving. So I'm going to link those for you guys, too. They're from StockX. But they had the air bubble and stuff. It's not as big of an air bubble like these, which I didn't want. But I think this is Kyra Amonique. And she's got, just coming through the airport, her little... 
tray at the security check. She's got her camera there, her A6, her bag, her AirPods, all of that in there. So I thought that was a cute little picture that I may want to snap. But, you know, I take my photos too, but it's just kind of things that jog the memory. It's not like I'm going to set it up and get these exact shots or anything. It's just kind of like, okay, it just kind of puts it in my head. Like, I do want to take some photos of that type. I still have my Jordan 1 Dunks. If y'all are Jordan 1 Dunks, girls, this is a really nice pen. Now, this one probably can move to my... I'm going to also save it under my um, birthday looks. I don't know why I lost her one. Or maybe I saved it as New, New York. Let me see. Yeah. No, New Year's 2024. That wasn't it. Uh, I thought it was birthday looks. One thing that I love doing is just setting up a vision board on the, um, you know, the um, screen, the entrance screen to my iPad, because I use my iPad pretty frequently, if not daily. And so each time I come into my iPad, um, this vision board, let me go ahead and unlock it. It just allows me to see all of, you know, just a quick little glimpse and just kind of programs that in my mind of some things that um, I'm working towards and that just helps to affirm where I am as far as my goals and stuff. So this one I actually made, I believe in Canva. And what I did guys is super simple is that I just went into Canva, um, you know, a project. You could actually come in here and type in template. I mean, a um, vision board. And then you do a vision board, photo collage. And what it's going to do is just bring up templates for that. And look at that. You can already just have some that if you like these, you could use them, of course. Um, but you could also just clip your own um, images and add them in and that sort of thing. But they've got some really good ones. Like if you're like, this will be good for me. I'm definitely wanting to go to Paris this year. If I wanted to do a travel one, I definitely want to go somewhere tropical with my husband. Um, I do want to go to Rome with my mom. Um, and then, you know, you can definitely want to make money. You can add some text fields in here to punch it up. But they have so many. They have minimalist ones, which we love. And you could just already have some that are pre-made. That way you don't have to think too hard about it. And just let these speak to you. Like, what does this say to you? If you want to have more of a polished look and you want to add some things in for Pinterest. And what I like to do is, and um, I'll just go over to Pinterest, is you can come in here and you just find some things that really speak to you. So, like, if you're looking to do more self-care, you come in here, open this up, do a quick little screenshot, and then, you know, you will pick up that photo. It could be um, just a reminder for you to take time for yourself, um, to relax more, to do more baths, more skincare. You know, if you want to start getting your nails done or making that a priority, self-care for the new year or maintenance, then you can add that. If your dream car G-Wagon, which is mine, then you could definitely screenshot some of these images and add it to your vision board. And that's more of a photo or visual vision board, um, but electronic. So that is what I have done for what I have here on. Right here is where I have mine saved. And then I just made it my screensaver for my iPad. But it just has this way. Okay, so it just has, and I'll zoom it in. I just have vision board, future vision board, um, successful life calling, money calling. Um, even though it says apartment here, my goal is my new home. So I just like this image with um, a young lady, very polished, has her handbag, her nails on point, her arm dressed, and she's, you know, holding up her keys and she's at her new place. So for me, that's what that represents is me and my new home. This, of course, is just a very nice visual of me and my new G-Wagon, which I'm manifesting, how I'm going to be rolling out, what my view would be in my new car. Um, this one is just an image of like some ladies. I'm assuming like-minded ladies are out there having fun. 
good conversation. They're having shots. So it's just a photo of some girls with some limp, um, tequila shots. And that's my drink of choice. So I'm like, oh, okay. So these must be my type of girls. And I'm manifesting new friendships and relationships in my life because I don't need it, but it's, it would be nice to have. And then um, also work out here, somebody working out on a treadmill and I do treadmill. So I do use a treadmill. So that was a good one for me. It's just a reminder to keep going. Um, travel, okay. And so that's just on the plane, on the plane wheels up. And then here, I do want to start back doing my business, which is my brushes. And I was this girl, like I did have this many um, orders. I was shipping things off um, every week, every day, I orders and stuff. So I want to get back to that, just a relaunch, relaunch my business. And um, that's what I have there. I am successful, self-explanatory. But it helps to reaffirm who you are and what you are. And even if you don't believe it, you want to put that in your spirit so that it can fester and grow. Okay, so this is just a really nice, like, um, visual evening, night, like, out, nice handbag, nice shoes. But out somewhere in the evenings, I like to go out in the evenings. I would like to do more date nights with my husband. It's not really his thing. So even if he doesn't want to go, I want to be out there in the evenings a little bit more myself. Maybe for, like, just to have the tap into that energy again, just to kind of go out for a drink, maybe for an hour or on a Saturday, you know, just to vibe out or go to a movie, dinner and a movie. And then, of course, you know, me vlogging. That's still my thing, um, which I absolutely love vlogging. Five, six figures a month, five or six figures a month. I thought that was good because it always seems like it's like everybody has it, but you kind of feel like, oh, yeah, right. But. People are doing it, so I'm like, yeah, I want that too. And then I have Black Women in Luxury here because I feel like for me, my channel represents luxury upscale and just a really proper, polished woman of color, um, of maturity. And I like that about my my page. I like that about my content that you know maybe I'm introducing some people to um, things that they feel are outside their comfort zone or may not be for them. Like, you know, upscale perfumes, handbags, travel bags, traveling, all of those things. So I'm, I'm noticing like, oh, okay, you know, the things that I do may be unique for me or maybe things that are outside of other people's comfort zones. But I hope that it's helpful to see that black women, we are luxury, we represent um, you know, maintenance wise, the things that we do on a daily basis, um, as far as our skincare maintenance, that we are black women are luxury. So I hope that that's something that is being conveyed through my channel and that I can continue to, um, touch in, tap into on this platform and be a positive influence for. And then this is just a girl. She is sitting on her new ride. She's at the dealership receiving her new vehicle, Mercedes. Um, and that's what I want to be is, you know, just maybe with a bow on it <clears throat> to do that. And then on my phone, you know, always manifesting. I also have, this is my screensaver, which is a G wagon. Um, the one that I like the all black with the red interior. So I just have different things surrounding me of reminders of where I'm trying to go, where I'm wanting to go. And that sort of thing. So always trying to tap into that type of energy. So that's another good one is just to have a vision board on your screens, like your screensavers on your phone, your iPad, your tablet, whatever you looking at on a regular basis, just so that when it pops up, it's a quick little reminder. But it also gets into your subconscious, right? Because the things that we do, a lot of it is subconscious. Like we move, make movements and stuff like that without really giving it much thought. So when it's already things that we're programming into ourselves, it helps to manifest things quicker in our lives. So that is that. Also, look at this. Everything is kind of, I love that Pinterest. Once you kind of look at some things, they're going to curate your board for you, which I think is so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and save that to my birthday looks 2024 because I'm definitely wearing fur. But I think these are just some cute little images that 
are easy to snap. Like if I was in, when I'm in New York, I could easily take a lot of these photos myself. But easy. And look at this for the summer. This is cute. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and save that because you, you guys know I love a good two piece. So I'm gonna save that under just outfits. My new G-Wagon, I did change that to 2024. But be sure to check out my Pinterest if you um, like my style. I have a lot of neat things saved in here. They're gonna curate your main board according to things that you've been looking at. So they got some packing things, G-Wagon images. I'm creating the life of my dream. So a lot of the stuff will start popping up on your Pinterest. So if you don't have Pinterest, I think that you should get it because it's definitely worth it. You know, and I had looked up some fur coats. So now it's like, okay, so we got that popping up, which is cute. And I'll scroll a little bit and see what I'm liking here. But these are like a lot of little cute, fun, quick looks. And I love this is like a giant vision board within a vision board, if that makes sense, which is really, really fun. So that's that, but you can come here and you can find me, Tisha Monique, um, and then you can just look through my content and stuff like that. I have my toiletry bag, which I'm gonna give myself for my birthday. I just need to pull the trigger on that. I'm getting that, I'm getting the commodity milk perfume. I wanna get some Sambas, I think. I already got the um, A6, and um, yeah, so I just kinda have some photos of how I wanna photograph. I just went ahead and ordered the commodity milk because while I'm sitting here just going like this and this and this while I'm doing this for you dolls, I sprayed that at Sephora earlier today. They were out of stock. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll just, you know, casually order it online. But it has been eating me down this entire time that I have been filming for y'all. And I'm like, oh my God, it smells too good not to go ahead and order it immediately. So that's what I did. Went ahead and ordered it. Um, this is the Milk Expressive Eau de, Eau, de, Eau de Parfum. And I ordered it from Sephora's website. I am able to receive it today before 10 p.m., which I'm excited about because I do want to film a, um, you know, just, an, uh, just a video of my pickups that I had today because I got this plus two other fragrances that I think you dolls would love. So I was like... Let me get over here and order this so I can get it today. Film the video and get that up for y'all. But back to what we're doing. So I was saying that I also want to get this. This is the Nice uh, BB. Um, this is the toiletry, the LV toiletry. And I'm so excited about this. I definitely want to gift myself this for my birthday and take it with me on my trip to New York. So anyways, I had created this board, LV toiletries. And I just kind of had the different sizes just to see what it holds, what I would put in there. You know, I see a lot of people putting their Chanel makeup and stuff in there, Chanel product, um, just whatever. But anyways, I had created this board for that just to kind of feel the vibe. So, and then just to see the different sizes. So I do want this bag as well, but this is the one that we're gonna be getting for the birthday. Maybe we'll get that in the summertime or for the next trip. So little things like that help to keep you motivated and keep you um, looking forward. Have little things to look forward to, little gains. So I just had that little um, thing here. So I'm looking forward to having mine. Some people use it for skincare. I'm gonna use mine for makeup. And I like that the interior, you can wipe it down because it's canvas. So you can wipe that down, keep it really nice and clean. You can also transport your fragrances in there. Or if you had it at home, you could just, you know, have it on your vanity with your fragrances in there or skincare or whatever, or mix a combo. So just some cute little ideas here that I curated to my board. All of this is saved. Okay, I need, so I need to update it. It's here. It's the 2023 Vision Board. And this is what it is, but I would need to update the title here let's see if it'll let me do it edit board um i'm not merging no did i say that let's see i clicked the wrong thing edit board <clears throat> i just need to change the board name to 2024 because like i said i'm building on it so anyways i just had you know little things like that definitely want to vacate that could stay 
Starbucks planning, just um, being focused, being planning, operating with a plan. My YouTube play, plaque, play, plaque, play card, play button. When I hit 100K, this is just me in my car like every day, which is my Stanley Cup for more water, which I have been doing. Um, this is a reminder to celebrate my small gains or my big gains for me because 10K is going to be amazing. So that's there. Um, <clears throat> definitely want to do something with all of you dolls when we do hit like our milestones. 10K, 50K, 100K, 25K. Like that's major. I um, want to start doing cash stuff. And again, like I had said, um, I want to get some new packaging and branding for my brushes um, I'm also open to receiving a Range Rover, a newer one than what I have, but also, of course, I, I am wanting G-Wagon, and this would be me, like, on a little staycation once I get my car. And, um, interiors, I want something with colored interiors this time that's, like, non-traditional, like a beige, a taupe, a cognac, um, yellow, even a white. And then this was just, like, a vision board idea as far as like doing a video with just different pictures, that's another one that you could do is just to have different pictures, create that in cap cut and just kind of have it like that going. Um, then, you know, I wanted some new AirPods, which I got for Christmas. Um, interior of the car. Oh, I did want the Marc Jacobs tote bag and to film that, but I'm not sure. Um, this was my inspo from last year for my birthday this year, which was NYC. Um, you know, just really classy, really elegant birthday trip. Fur, like I said, that's just my thing. Um, and yeah, so I had grades in here for my sons because I want to help them to maintain good grades. And then I want to read more be more confident in the things that I'm doing and know that all things are possible with God who strengthens us. Romanticize my own life and see the wins, the good things in my current life. As you can see, this is that treadmill picture and I put that on my uh, screensaver on my iPad, but this is the, the, the image here that I use. But that's definitely on my vision board for 2024. Another way that I recommend with this, so this is just my physical planner here and you can always cut and paste things in here but I love just to also write down things capture ideas um, like for my Paris trip 2024 I just have some things written down there I didn't do it in here but I will like you know hotels to stay at restaurants to eat at places to visit um, I have my to-do list in here I have my planner my layout for my new closet in here I want my um, organizer but I have all kind of stuff in my planner. I have like a list of perfumes that I want to um, curate. And I just, it's kind of a running list. This is not my only planner, but this is my, I guess kind of like my brainstorming, brain dump planner. And um, so I did get inserts from cloth and paper, which are super cute. And then made my son have plenty of tic-tac-toe in here. Um, as well and um, anyway so yeah and it doesn't have to be a Louis Vuitton planner it could be whatever planner you have or it could be a sheet of paper it could be a notebook it could be a cute little something off of Amazon just start wherever you are and these are just kind of things like I like to keep this one handy more so because um, it's more flexible and um, it's just the tabs I have are like ideas lists notes and it's just real that's why I got this there's luxury and simplicity it's just real simple so I don't feel like oh I can only write in it if it's you know my budget if it's my this is more like just a brain dump so if I'm sitting in my bed and I get a lot of um, creative ideas when I'm just kind of sitting or um, you know just different times of the day so I could pull this out and I could just kind of jot like bullet point things on here without feeling like it has to be organized, super structured, like my other planner or other planners. So um, I just have things on there like that, just running little lists or running ideas. 
long term. Here I have like order 2024 planner stuff, which I still need to do. Um, what else do I have in here? Just video content ideas, um, things to record, ideas for my planning. Um, but anyways, I have like the videos like how I had the Baccarat Rouge 540 and Dupe, Zara Red Temptation video, I filmed that. So I checked it off. I wanted to film some videos on my car last year, which I did, which was the What's In My Bags. I do want to do a Zara unboxing, but I need to order some stuff. I was in my LV Alma BB. I haven't done one of those. So whenever I use that bag, I'm gonna remember to record. Fall Top Fragrances, did that. A top of perfume haul, Killian's top three. YouTuber, blogger, creator items you need for filming. I did that video. So, you know, these are just some video ideas and I need to add to it. Um, just some summer things for the kids, activities, things to film, again, bills. All that kind of stuff. So I like a physical planner. I do. And I just had some money here. Just to remind me to do my cash stuffing. And I have just some cards from like things I purchased for merch. And some of my cloth and paper um, dot sticker. Okay, dolls. And here is the other vision board that I have, which is just my screensaver again before my MacBook Pro. And um, this one is more family oriented. Uh, some of the same overlapping goals, but some different, you know, like different images to represent the same thing, but then some new images like my kids and I've, you know, just set my intentions there. Them being happy, just growing up, healthy, um, having a great lives, blessed. Uh, my new home, my actual picture of my new home that is being, well, done being constructed now. Um, someone doing Pilates, um, not only just doing Pilates, but they're thin, they're um, toned and shaped the way that I want to be. Uh, my boys here playing together because I want them to really cultivate their relationship and always have a good one. So I have that here as well, but also their first day of school picture um, there and just just nothing but prosperity, abundance, peace, love, happiness for them. And then I have a photo of a young lady who's picking out a new vehicle and she's just at a place where it's all luxury, um, elevated vehicles that she's just going in and selecting from. So I was like, oh, that's nice. Definitely feeling that. And then I have just like a couple here that is toasting their um, out like tropical vacay vibes, but also just having a good time. So I definitely want to do that as well um travel is what i'm representing here and i like this photo it's just really relaxed um in the middle of the ocean which i love those are definitely my vibes and um of course again the mercedes but also i'm vlogging here so i'm gonna vlog camera my family here my boys my guys me i'm um, doing my youtube thing and i have my youtube play button here um, just representing growth and that 100K mark that I'm going towards. Both of my boys are athletes, so just success for them in that area. And then G-Wagon, shopping, luxury. Just This represents a lot, this photo here, because it's just kind of like um, shopping, luxury, but also just being out in an atmosphere where, um, like, if I want to go out to eat or I'm out to lunch or just whatever, like that's the vibe. I mean, I'm like doing that at nice restaurants, nice parts of town, nice areas in my new vehicle, pulling up valet or South Park, whatever. But this is just kind of like, yeah, this would be where I'm at, stepping out. It kind of looks like, like the Galleria area here in Houston to me because they usually have little lights like that year round. And then that's the type of shopping and stores and stuff. So I'm just like, okay, yeah. And then here is just a picture I thought that looked similar to me, but um, definitely like 30 to 40 pounds lighter. So that's where I'm always tasking to, but this is for my fitness journey. Um, I do a lot of lower body work, a lot of quiet work. So that's like, oh, it's just everything tight tone, muscular build. And yeah, so anyways, this just helps to have things in front of you. So like I go to work in my laptop, 
open that up, bam, I got some photos, some vision boards here. And there's Aaliyah there. She's doing her YouTube thing, really focused, um, creator vibes. And I need to update this because it says 23 vision board, 23. So I need to update that. And um, I think I did this one in Canva and then just saved it as a photo and then just saved it as the screen shot there. So just surround yourself with your intentions for the new year. It doesn't have to be like cut out paper and post, um, you know, adhere it to a board type vibes. You could do these as screensavers. Um, you could do this as your phone screensaver, your laptop, your uh, MacBook, whatever. Um, you could do it on your iPad. You can do one, just a physical one in your planner. Just some ideas for you dolls on how I set my intentions and how I make sure that daily I'm tapping into uh, what I'm trying to manifest and my goals, my daily goals, my yearly goals, monthly goals. And you could definitely update these frequently as need be if things change. Like now, my home is past the construction phase, so I could update that with a new photo and just making sure that it's current. But, you know, that's definitely um, a still valid. The photo is still valid. So, but anyways, guys, I hope that you got some great um, tips and tricks out of this video. I just wanted to make sure to get something up for you dolls since I know I owe you the uh, travel vlog, which is coming. I'm definitely feeling better. So I'm going to hop on that next. I'll get this uploaded just so we have upload. And, um... Yeah, so that is where we are with it. I okay, dogs, we got the package, we got the goods, we got the commodity. So let's see, let's unbox or open this up. This is the uh, 3.4 ounce, but the box is bossy. So I'm gonna film a review on this for you dolls, along with the other fragrances that I picked up um, and hot. Let's come back. Yes, I love the packaging. Aesthetic. Let's see. This is my first one ever, so I'm not sure how it unboxes. But this is an American brand. I know that. Uh, let's see. Okay, just slides out. Inside it says commodity. That. Ooh, very nice box, nice packaging. Yes, and this is a unisex, so definitely suitable for us girls and the gents. And good so i'm absolutely loving this oh love 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 this so that was that um i did get a few things when i originally went to sephora to pick up the commodity milk and they were 
um, sold out at both Sephora's that I stopped at. So I did have just a little haul, a little mental haul. I got the Refi, the Refi, Refi, the Refi um, primer. I just have been wearing this for so long. So I'm gonna, um, I'm excited to unbox these and add them to my kit. And I had gone to a bunch of Sephora's looking for this one, but I haven't wanted to try this out. This is the primer with the roller. <gasps> is it? Wait, did I get the wrong thing? Face primer, glow and sculpt, base. Hold on. Oh, okay, I pulled it off wrong. I was like, girl, no. About to be so devastated. But it's the one with the little roller tip and you just kind of roll it on the face. I just did skincare, so I'm very moisturized. But um, I love that. I can't wait to try this out. <coughs> uh -oh. Oh. And then what else do we get in here? I got some lashes, but this is from the Beauty Supply. Just the 3D um, IMV lashes that you dolls know are my holy grail. These are my staple lashes. Um, this is the number 112. I got um, the Fenty Beauty Mascara. This is the um, hella thick in the color because I'm black. Okay, so I heard nothing but good things on about this. So I wanted to try it out um, just to put on before I put on falsies and to put on with falsies. I don't know if it'll do, the, there we go. It's a little bit dark in here. So hopefully the footage is not too bad. But that's cute. And then I got the um, Mario Badescu, if you guys remember. Not Mario Badescu, the makeup by Mario Concealer. If you guys remember when I went in the last time, I got the um, the concealer color, like my concealer concealer, but I didn't get the brightener, the right color. So this is the shade, um, I believe, 340 that I meant to get. So I went ahead and picked this up while I was in there. I think this was 28, but you can see that's a lighter shade which is gonna be perfect for highlighting um so it looks like this definitely not my concealer color but it's gonna be perfect just to give a little pop up color little highlight and then i had to re-up because you dolls will see from a vacay vlog that i actually broke my uh, charlotte tilbury um flawless finish setting powder number two so i re-upped on that because this is like staple in my on-the-go setting powder so I got that, and then I actually did pick up two fragrances from Zara when I went, and I got my mom a gift um, as well. So let's see. And then I got the two perfumes. One is the one that I already had, which was the tobacco that you guys know I raved about um, here. But my bottle, which I actually have been carrying on the go, which may not be a great idea, broke on me. <laughs> actually fell out of my purse and the um it broke so i'm not able to use this functionally i was going to try to decant it and rebottle it but so far i haven't been able to get to it so i just got a new one of those and then while i was in zara i saw um that they had sweet illusion for 22.99 i was like oh okay this is different i don't remember smelling this before but this it says into the gourmand Ink Accord, Vanilla, Beans, and Cedarwood. So this says that it is um, just a really nice, feminine, sophisticated fragrance with Madagascar Vanilla. And it smells so amazing, you guys. I was like, oh yeah, you're coming home with me. And it's this, this one with the blue bottle. If you've seen this one, it was reduced. So um, I know you can still find it online, but definitely love this one as well. And this is how it looks, let's see. Remind myself why you came home. Oh yeah, <laughs> this one smells really good. Really feminine. It's gourmand, but it's not overtly gourmand. I don't wanna spray it on because I wanna just really sit in this uh, commodity milk and let that resonate with me for this evening. But this one smells so good. You've gotta get your nose on this. The packaging is gorgeous. The box is beautiful. And I can't wait to try this out and see what the stain power and all of that good stuff is on. So we did a little bit of a perfume haul. I had to get this one. This is the original uh, milk. This is not the uh, plus. I know there's a plus, there's a minus, but we'll go through all of that in the video when I share with you guys <coughs> the review of it. But if you wanna just pick it up, 
Um, this one was 146 and um, it was sold out. And under the weather, as you can hear my voice, so just been trying to stay hydrated. I got my tissues, I got my iPad, um, um, I got the books, but I haven't started yet. Jack, the woman in cabin 10. That's a disinfect spray alcohol. But this is my read. I'm trying to get through my, my book that's on my iPad and then um, this hard copy that I have. But let's go put our makeup up in our makeup organizer, our new makeup that we got. And then we'll set our goodies. Saw that one. Ended up loving this one for a blush. Right, so, so I have three now. So here we go. It's light. But I'm not to see that. It is a difference there. Sorry, the third shade. My contour. So those are my three. In there. And so they back in their boxes. This kind of gives you an excitement for how to organize your stuff. Real quick and easy. Closes up real good. I have to this will get used and open and then it won't be in the box anymore. But for now it's in the box. Shut her down, you know, if we want to transport it, like I just did. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here, I'm going to do a little bit of journaling. Now I have some good ideas during the day, so I'm going to fill out my planner and get to it so that's what I'm gonna do. Here and just kind of organize my thoughts so that's what I'm ready to do those and probably watch a little YouTube um the tree is up we're not talking about it they'll probably come down at this point next week because yeah I got work this week kids start back to school so we have to week Yeah. So that's why I got y'all pulled in close. <laughs> but anyways, um, please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Happy New Year! And um, the next videos will be the edited, the edited videos. I may have one video prior to the uh, vacation video because of the perfume haul, which was kind of spontaneous. But I want to get that out for y'all as well. So I'm not sure how to order, but y'all are going to get the content regardless. It's there, it's filmed. I just need to edit. And um, I will chat with you dolls later. Bye.